Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fit braided brake lines onto your Honda Civic EP3. Uh, this will be the same process as well if you have a Honda Civic EP2 Sport. So let me just show you here. So I've got the brake lines here. Uh, so these are good bridge uh, brake lines. I got these on Marketplace. I think they were about I don't know how much they were. To fit. I got them used, but I think they were a little bit less than new because they were literally literally bought them and then sold them again. So it'd be really nice to get these on the car and hopefully improve the braking a little bit. So to begin doing this, all you want to do is get your car jacked up, get the wheel taken off, and then down here, if you just want to take the cap off the, uh, the brake fluid, there's a wire in here, and just make sure this is topped up to the max. The max on here is on this side, the minimum is down here. Uh, so just make, that, make sure that's topped up, because we will be losing a little bit of brake fluid, obviously once we change these out. So just keep checking that every so often, don't let it go obviously below the minimum, um, unless you want it to be a pain. So to begin, if we just have a look down here now, uh, we can just see that this is where it'll come off from. So this is the section here, and then obviously down here, all the way down to here, on the back of the brake caliper. So to begin, uh, we're gonna want to get this bolt off on the back behind the hub. So this is what holds it onto the bracket, and then we'll be able to take it off uh, this end, and then that end, get the new one fitted, and then we'll obviously need to bleed it at the end as well, uh, which is very important to do. So yeah, let's have a look at getting this one off, so I'll just find out what size this is now. Okay, so I just had a look, this is actually a 13 millimeter that you need to get that off, so I'll just go ahead and get that bracket off now. Okay, so now that's out, um, we'll just get that bracket off, so that was fairly easy to do, thankfully that bit's not rusted on. I'm expecting this bit will be, where the little uh, C-clip comes out, so it might be just worth spending a bit of WD-40 on, and then this clip will pull that out, and then disconnect it there. Um, is it that side? Yeah. So just on there, uh, fit it back on. And then we'll get this one off. I also just forgot to mention, just make sure you've got a bucket because obviously it will come out here, you know, on, on the caliper. So just make sure, you know, just to be a little bit safe. Make sure you're not getting uh, brake fluid everywhere. Okay, so I've now got that little C-clip out. That was actually very surprisingly easy to get out and I thought this was going to be a real pain. But all I did, if you get a flathead screwdriver and you just wedge it behind the back with a little tab, as you push it there and then just go against that, push it there and just keep pushing it like that up against that like that and leveraging it, it'll just push out. Now thankfully it wasn't rusted on that bad, so it came up pretty easy, just a bit of WD-40, so that's easy enough. Um, so now that's off of there, uh, I believe we just need to get a spanner and just loosen this one off, and then that will just come out of there then. Um, <clears throat> and then we can get that off, so let's take a look at that now. I'll probably take this one off here first, the back of the caliper, we'll just get that off first, and then look at getting that one off. We've got that one off of there, uh, we'll be able to just take this one off, and then get the new brake line fitted. Okay, so I'll just mention one thing, uh, just make sure that you leave this clip on here before untightening this. Now, I don't know why I took that off, but I left, I took that one off, and then undoing that, and it just spins, obviously, so just make sure you have that on. Uh, but yeah, it's on, so it was really, really simple to do. We've got that all tightened up here. Um, we're just going to put the bolt back in here and then we'll be good to go. Uh, so then I'll do all the rest and then we can bleed uh, the system through and make sure that uh, we've got enough brake fluid in there as well. Okay, so that was definitely more of a pain than I thought it was going to be fitting these. Now, I've fitted three of them, um, however, on the other side, this, this um, I can't remember what you call it, this nut here, this, um, there's a word for this, this nut on here, but I can't think what it is. Basically, it won't come off the other side, so I've just got the um, standard shit brake line on there. So you see the, that one ready to go on. So I've just left it in a load of WD-40, but it's really bad, so I don't know whether I want to get a whole new brake line done. Uh, for that one, but all the others went on okay. So obviously just want to bleed the brakes, so get the, get one of these, you know, for bleeding it, put that end onto the bleed bit, uh, and then just obviously start from the furthest point from the ABS. So that'll be the other side, then that, then the other side, then this side, um, and just keep depressing it with the cap off, um, and then just keep topping it up, don't let it be below the minimum, and then just do that. Tighten it up on each, each corner, um, and then you should be good to go. Um, so yeah, it was, it was fairly simple to get these back on as well, so just literally put that in there, thread that back on, put the bolt on here for the this one on here, the bolt in here, and then just connect it back up on the caliper. So yeah, it's all good to go now. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, uh, do check out my other content as well. There's loads of content on my page on this car. Uh, so yeah, check that out. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. I would greatly appreciate that too. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.